A significant part of any Labrador's life is outdoor walks. But they are full of energy and excitement and we cannot just leave them off leashed, at least not until they are trained. So they need to be leashed on a collar or a harness, but which one is safer? We will find out in this video of Labrador Care. Collars and harnesses both have their own pros and cons. To help you make a decision, let's look into them. Labs are energetic dogs who get excited quite easily. They may want to go sniff other dogs or meet new people or chase a bird while outside. A good quality harness will definitely help you control your lab without hurting their neck. Hyper energetic labs would often pull on the leash and in such cases, collars can damage their neck and spine. On the other hand, harnesses put pressure on their arms and chest which have stronger muscles and can handle some weight. Puppies often manage to escape from loose collars, but they are less likely to drop out of a harness tied around their body. On the other hand, putting a harness on an energetic pup is one heck of a task. They would struggle to stay still and often run away. Collars are much easier to put on a dog. Some dogs just hate wearing harnesses as it makes them feel confined and uncomfortable. While collars are a much more comfortable option, in hot summers, harnesses can make them feel warmer. Many harnesses do not have good airflow, but nothing is compared to wearing a small and comfortable collar. So, coming to a conclusion, harnesses are a better choice for curious labs that pulls a lot on their leash, whereas collars are better for labs that are well-trained, relaxed, and do not pull on their leash. So always start with a harness, and once your pup learns to walk on a leash without pulling, you can switch to a collar. There are a few things you must keep in mind before using a harness. Firstly, Select a harness that is not too small or not too big for your lab. Even though harnesses can be adjusted according to the size, you still want to make sure that the harness is neither too bulky nor too small. Also, make sure that the harness is not too tight or too loose for your lab. And lastly, always remove the harness once you are inside. It's okay to leave a collar on your dog's neck around the clock, but not a harness. It's designed for outdoor activities and it can get really uncomfortable for your lab. Now. Let's look into some safety tips for collars. Number one, do not pull your lab by its collar. Putting a strain on the collar can cause cramps, muscle tension, spinal problems, and other health issues. Either stand your ground or continue walking, but do not tug on their neck. Number two, make sure that the collar is not too tight. A general rule of thumb is you must be able to fit two fingers under their collar. And number three is to change the collar size as the pup grows. Labrador puppies grow like a weed, so check the fitting of the collar every now and then and make sure it's not too tight. Now that you have the pros and cons of collars and harnesses, I hope you make the right decision for your lab. And don't forget to check out our channel, we have tons of Labrador care videos. See you until next time.